Alright guys, so uh, I got some stuff in the mail. I'm not 100% sure exactly what I received so far. Um, I know it's not the sofa, or the love seat I should say, because the boxes are too small. But, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an unboxing as I go through it uh, with you guys so you can see uh, what it is I have. And ignore my tablet up there, that's just me monitoring my video. So, cheers and let's get started. I have a feeling this is my, my flatware. I did order some flatware because I don't have knives or forks. <laughs> well, I have this knife and I have my kitchen knife, but no uh, forks or spoons or nothing like that. Oh, wait. That might not be what that is. Okay, so this is actually some of the hardware for my Murphy bed. This is the pivot points, right? That's uh, going to be for the rotation to lower the mattress. Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought that was my silverware. These are just some pocket screws uh, so I can attach all the frames together. Um, in case you're curious there, let me get a little closer. And then this is the, these are basically, not basically, these are exactly, these are boat, uh, boat seat swivels. Uh, and again, that's what's going to be rotating the bed up and down. So, interesting. I thought I'd lost these in the mail, but they came in after all. So, put those over here out of the way. Now this one, let's see what this is. I did order some dishes as well as the flatware, so uh, that might be what's in here. But who knows, because I wasn't expecting to receive the, the seat swivels. But I did after all, so let's see what's here. We have a box inside a box. Put this down. And of course, as with everything, it's made in China, you know, because that's, that's how our country is now. I have a feeling this is, these are the plates. Which also means I'm going to have to go out and get some dish soap. I don't have any of that either. Why should I have dish soap when I don't have dishes, right? I just have cups. Yeah, I think that's what this is. So let me put this down also. Because we have more boxes within boxes. <laughs> well, at least they're the package is good, that's for sure. Yeah, these are these are dishes. I do like the color, I gotta say. Because I am going for that mid century mid-century modern uh, kind of decoration and color scheme so that's why I got the teal color and I'm pretty surprised I mean the color is nice yeah I like it Four plates and four saucers. I guess these are the bowls. Yeah, these are the bowls. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging these colors, actually. I'll show you in a second. So 
this is the teal for the bowl. And uh, I think it looked pretty pretty good. So I'm gonna look for some coffee mugs because you know I need some freaking coffee. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to find some orange uh, coffee mugs because you know again the mid-century modern think Mad Men right when I say mid-century modern so uh, yeah these these look pretty good and uh, like I said I'm gonna be putting them up here for decoration let me get that paper plate out of the way I don't need that anymore so uh, hopefully they fit <laughs> yeah let me move this over here a little bit okay saucers on top of the plates and then stack the bowls up, but for now you get the general idea. And again, I think the coloring uh, looks pretty good, so that's why I, I chose the, the teal, just, you know, because I think the, the color's pretty, and it goes with the decoration scheme that I'm working on. So the, the copper uh, with the stainless with the teal, and then up here I've got the, it's supposed to be light gold, but it looks copper to me as well, the, the clock. But uh, yeah, there we go. Do expect some more things in today. Um, expecting to get the love seat, and if I get the love seat, I'm going to unwrap it or unbox it probably on camera. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to build it on camera just because it's probably going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, but then once I put it in place, uh, then I'm going to film that. So that way you'll get an idea of what the love seat's going to be like and the location. Um, let me go ahead and turn this around uh, because, well, I don't know if I'm going to make this a 360 or not, but if I do make it a 360, go ahead and spin it around and you'll see how I put the mattress up against the wall right over here. Uh, and that's kind of going to be where the Murphy bed is, and then that style, that the length, instead of the vertical, it's going to be a horizontal. Uh, and then over here, uh, to my left, you're going to see where the air conditioning is. That's where the love seat is supposed to fit. So once I get that, that's where it's going to be. So like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a 360 video. Uh, once I get into editing, I'll find out. Uh, and if it is, then I'll label it as such. But again, this is my 175 square foot micro studio and it's um, two blocks off Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas happen to be on uh, two block uh, block and a half I think from Container Park something like that so anyway hope you enjoy our video or my video series <laughs> I always say R I don't know why uh, but I hope you enjoy my video series and I will be playing uh, recording some more for you in the future so Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification. So if you're interested in tiny living or micro studio or downtown living or anything like that, uh, this is the channel you want to watch for a while because uh, there's going to be some other videos coming up. And again, I appreciate you watching right now. And like and subscribe. Thank you.